So today we're going to be comparing a $30 drone with a $2,000 drone. Now technically speaking, I did spend $36 on this drone, not $30, so here's what $36 will get you from an Amazon flash deal. This is the Hey Jello Sirius S90. Yes, so this is the S90 version, which is better than the S80, which uh, I don't know about the S80, I didn't even see that. But anyway, inside the box we got a startup guide, a really cheap feeling controller, the drone itself, which is a lot smaller than the product packaging let on. Looks like it has some foldable arms. We've got two batteries. These look like prop guards or something. And inside, we've got a user manual, extra props, a little Phillips head screwdriver, and a USB charging solution. Looks like that. Probably, yes, plugs right into the battery itself. So for this extremely unfair comparison, I'll be comparing this $36 drone to my DJI Mavic 3, which I got a couple years back for a little over three grand, actually. I got the Fly More combo, so it came with extra batteries, the drone, canvas bag, charger, controller, and all this stuff. So looking at them side by side, you can see there's a pretty obvious size difference between them with the Mavic 3 coming in at a much larger size. Now, interestingly, this little guy here with this camera supposedly can hit 1080p video resolution. I don't know what frame rate that is, but we're going to test to see how good that video actually looks compared to the Mavic 3. Now this can also do 1080p obviously, but it can also shoot at 4K and even 5K at quite a variety of frame rates. But to keep things simple today, I will be shooting at 1080p on both. And I would imagine this guy here is set to 30 frames per second, but we'll have to find out. But I will be setting this to 30 frames as well. So let's get these things unfolded, see how they look when they're opened up before we fly. Here we go. Oh boy. So I'm just holding the drone still. My hand's not touching the actual controls and the drone is just kind of piecing out. Um, it's stable, I guess. It's nice and level in the air, but it's moving uh, steadily backwards. So let me bring that forward. I'm gonna take another look at it. Okay, so there it is. Not touching anything, and it's just kind of piecing out. So, I guess it's not horrible, especially if it's your only drone, not spending much money on it. But this thing likes to kind of just fly away. So, as I'm flying here, the drone's continuing just to move and fly wherever it wants. Let's take a look at the actual stream. Man, it's really just flying wherever the hell it wants to go. Oh boy, oh boy. That was close. I don't know how I didn't crash that.
Okay, here we go. So right away, you're probably noticing a pretty substantial difference. The S90 really just struggled with just about everything. Um, it stayed in the air on its own, but it just wanted to fly wherever it kind of wanted to. And even though there's not much wind to speak of at all today, it was just kind of moving on its own, even when I wasn't touching the controls and it was supposed to be hovering in place. And this one, DJI, the Mavic 3, you can see that if I let go of the controller, the drone stays put and it only moves when I tell it to. And I've flown this drone enough to know that even under windy conditions, it's not going to be moving like that. Sure, it'll, you know, shake a little bit, and it'll compensate for that with its, you know, gimbal stabilization, which the S90 lacks entirely. But the video feed is smooth and looks great. But obviously it comes with a price tag. To get a drone that's gonna fly this well and have these features and look this good, you're gonna to have to pay for that. Even here at 1080p, which is far from the you know, the maximum quality that you can get out of this drone. The Mavic 3 still shines at 1080p, especially if you compare it to the S90's video feed, which I wouldn't even call that usable really in any way, other than just looking to see what the drone sees. So at the end of the day, when it comes to drones, you really do get what you pay for. If you're paying less than $100, you're gonna get something that is temporary and not great quality especially with the photo and the video and just how the thing flies. You spend two to $300, maybe upwards of $500, you're gonna get something that starts to include things like GPS positioning, longer flight times, and just better flight performance in general. And then going above that, it just keeps getting better and better. You don't really throw your money out on more expensive drones if you actually utilize the features that they come with. So this Mavic 3, for example, yeah, it costs $3,000, but it has a telephoto lens. It can zoom in. It has 5K video recording. It has crazy still image quality. It has great low light quality. And I use all of those things. So for me, as a professional drone pilot, this drone made sense. And on top of all of that, it's insanely easy to fly. It can handle high winds and it's just an absolute blast to fly. And it is amazing quality. So. If you're in the market for a drone, save up money. Find something that is going to give you a better experience that'll be more worth it in the end, rather than spending less money and throwing it out when the drone inevitably breaks. So that's it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this comparison. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.